and welcome back again to our third video in this video series. So now we're gonna take a look at journaling for advanced traders and I hope you made some progress in the first two. If you are joining this video series don't forget to leave a comment in the video description or if you have further questions also make sure to leave comments. So who's this for? I would say this is for traders who have been trading for less than 18 months and also traders at this stage will often miss trades occasionally, some traders maybe more often, and traders who are ready now to customize their journal much further. The goal is in this lesson at this stage often that we want to avoid missing trades and we also want to become aware of the shortcomings and what does it mean when we miss a trade. We want to improve our understanding of our strategies, our setups and our trading in general. We want to get to know a little bit more of the performance metrics and we want to combine data journaling and emotional journaling. So the focus points on Edgemont are today the custom statistics, which is one of our most favorite and beloved feature, the sessions we're going to use and utilize mistrades, and we're also going to take a look at our notebook. So the custom statistics are a way to completely customize the journaling experience to your own trading and to your own needs. And when you open a trade under advanced trade data, you will see that we have this area for custom stats here and they are completely customizable. You can pretty much enter anything that you want. And when we go to our settings and then here to our custom statistics, you will see that we have 20 slots available and you can fill them however you would like. For example, here's some inspiration. The traders like to track time frames, so the time frame that the trade was taken on, the amount of confluence factors, which can also be the quality of the trade. Maybe if you're trading patterns, you can do that. You can track meta skills or either other meta factors, so your preparation level, your mental level. You can also track indicator setups. You can track the general market behavior. And then obviously there are so many more ways how you can use this feature. One thing that I would recommend is that in the beginning, limit the usage of the custom statistics to maybe four, five or six. Don't go crazy and don't use all of them at once. First of all, you will overwhelm yourself by having to go through 20 things at once for every trade. It's just going to take a lot of time and the value is probably not going to be there right away. Save custom statistics slots for later on because as you progress with your trading and also if you gain a deeper understanding of journaling and what you want to improve, you will start using new custom statistics. So that's very, very important. And then you can analyze your custom statistics in many different ways. For example, under chart lab, you can go to custom statistics and then you can get a just a visual breakdown of the different custom statistics and how they perform. You can switch and toggle between the different custom statistics here and you can display all, and you can also change the display and the unit. So for example, you want to analyze and visualize it in just how much dollars or currency you have made or lost, or you can toggle and change to percentage gain based on your account size. And then you can analyze it here and you can look for outliers. And in general, outliers are always the way to go uh, at first because that's where you see the biggest improvement. So look for things that really stand out. For example, this trader seems to be quite well on the lower time frames, but the higher time frames, the daily and the four hour seem to be underperforming for this trader. Also, you could go to your trade analytics and then here we have all of our different custom statistics. So here, for example, again, we can go to our time frames, one of the custom statistics that we have used. We get the detailed breakdown of the different time frames and then you can see it compare them very nicely here and get an understanding of the different performance metrics. By the way, I will leave a, a link in the video description to our FAQ where we break down every single one of our performance metrics and what they mean and how we calculate them so that you can get a better understanding of how to judge your performance. But we'll also keep making new videos where we specifically talk about the different performance ratios. By the way, what you can also do is, for example, you can go to your regular equity graph, which just visualizes your performance over time. And under advanced filters, you can find all of the different um, custom statistics as well. So you can start looking for only trades with the daily um, custom statistic. And you can see this is how it looks. You can add obviously more, you can compare them and you can use then the custom statistics in so many different ways. The filters are applicable to all of the chart labs here and that is a way of really digging into your performance on a much deeper level. Next, what I would recommend is utilizing the sessions. Sessions can be utilized in different ways. For example, you could come back at the end of the week of your trading week and you can add a new trading session. So what you do is you select the start and the end date. For example, let's assume we want to create a session for the last week, Monday to Saturday, Sunday. 
we can give this session a rating, which basically means how did you, how confident or how satisfied are you with the trading and with your overall trading week. You can use the rating. You can also choose one of the session categories if you want to give this uh, session a special um, category and then later you can filter for that. And what you can then do here is fill out the form and the text. And this is then a little bit more of an emotional journal. A lot of traders, when they think about trading journals, they think about having a notepad or a notebook somewhere where they write in their thoughts. And obviously this has a very important place and it's important to also trying to verbalize your thoughts and to just get it out of your head. And that's the reason why we combined it and why we added this feature in Edgewonk. So you get the best of both worlds. You have the data journal, the customization, and also the mental aspect of the written diary, if some traders want to call it like that. And then you can see for past sessions, you if you have trades that have fallen into this week, which does not appear in this journal, but you can see, okay, how many trades did fall into this period? How many winners, losers, break even trades? What's the win rate, the overall gain, and then also the tilt meter for the week, which is then very important. And over time, you can build up a very nice record of your trading sessions. You can come back and see and follow your progress really how did you view and how did you look at your trading a month ago a year ago two years ago and then you can nicely follow your progress and your thought process over time so that is one thing that I would really recommend at this stage as well missed trades is another thing that is at this stage very common for traders and if you are missing trades I would really recommend to take a look at our missed trades feature so here you can add trades that for whatever reason you missed and this can lead to a lot of great insights, especially what I would recommend if you enter the missed trades. We have one custom statistic reserved to missed trades. And the most common reasons why traders miss trades is they happen when they are asleep. Maybe there was a mistake in your or an error in your process. You didn't pay attention to the to the charts. You maybe were busy. Maybe you were distracted or you just couldn't trade. This is often the case while you are at work, for example. And this brings a lot of new insights to your approach and maybe give you some ideas on how to improve it. Or it can give you a little bit of peace of mind when you see that or when you feel rather that you're missing a lot of trades and a lot of traders will get frustrated because they think that the trades that they miss are always the winning trades. But if you see that they happen while you're asleep, there's nothing really you can do about it. And that could put your mind at peace a lot because you can see, okay, I'm not going to sacrifice my sleep. My sleep is the number one priority for my health and my well-being. But if the trades happen while I'm sleeping, so be it. However, if you see that a lot of your missed trades have the tag of process, then this is absolutely 100% your fault. You need to improve your processes, maybe utilize trading plans better, maybe set trading alerts, maybe schedule the time when you look at your charts better. But somehow your process is flawed and this can be fixed. That's the good news or couldn't trade, you are at work. Maybe I have seen a lot of traders, if they feel that they miss or see that they miss a lot of trades while they're at work, I have seen that traders can talk to their supervisor and to their boss and say, hey, is it okay if I dedicate five or 10 minutes every two or three hours to this trading thing, which is my passion, my hobby, and it would really mean a lot to me. And a lot of traders are able to actually do that. And there can obviously be a lot of different reasons for why missing trades, but bringing more awareness to this and then finding out that you could actually miss less trades by just adjusting your schedule, your processes, that could often make a big difference for many traders. And then the next step beyond the sessions, we have the notebook here. If you really want to take the mental diary to the next level, you can, use a li you can utilize our notebook here. And this is a free form writing tool. You can write down everything, your thoughts, whatever comes to your mind, you can create templates, for example. Here's this nine template question. Um, that really helps to give you a structured approach in your mental diary. I will put this template in the comments below this video. So you could just copy it, save it as a template. And then when you create a new note, you can just paste it in, then jump into it and then write your, your answers here. And that could be also a good help in having a structured review process or a structured way of just getting out your thoughts about your trading and having a very repeatable approach. But obviously you can use it in so many different ways. You could also describe your setups, your strategies, write down your trading rules, whatever comes to your mind, you can use this here for mental diary purposes. So you can see this lesson is more about the mental and the meta skills of trading. 
custom statistics, sessions, mistrades, and the notebook. The next lesson, lesson number four, is going to be really advanced on performance metrics, and we're going to dive into all of the other analytical features in Edgewonk. So see you then.